whilst we may not all be the best at doing so, if we run across a bug, doesn't really matter what the bug is, and that bug is a new bug, we should be reporting it to the bug tracker. Now, sometimes projects don't make it easy to do. They have confusing systems that waste a lot of time. They use Bugzilla. <laughs> but we know what should be done. The bigger question, though, is where should you be reporting the bug? And I don't mean the individual project specifics, like, should it be on Bugzilla, GitLab, the mailing list, a forum, a Discord, anything else that you might report bugs on? I mean in a more generic sense of the term. Should you be reporting the problem to the upstream developers or the downstream distribution of the application? Now, distribution could mean a couple of different things. It might mean the actual bug tracker for your Linux distro's distribution of the package, because most distros do actually have their own bug tracker. Or it might mean the bug tracker for the specific type of package, whether that be the bug tracker for the app image of the app, or the flat pack, or the snap, so on and so forth. Now, as you can tell from the video not being over, I would have liked to say, go report bugs here, or go report bugs here, but, that's not exactly possible. The best that I can do is give you some guiding principles for how you should think about the problem. The first question you should be asking is what version of the software are you actually running? Have you built the application from source or just used some like pre-compile system and are running the very latest git commit? Are you running the very latest stable version or a supported older branch? Or is your software simply out of date? We'll start with the final case. You are a Debian stable user. You are running software that is just out of date. It's not supported out of date. It is just out of date. As a general rule, you should always use your distro's bug tracker. If you are not running a supported version of the application, do not report it to upstream because it's very likely that upstream has already dealt with the problem or they're just not caring about that older version. Who cares if there is a bug in a two year out of date version? Nobody should be using that in the first place. If your distro wants to ship out of date software, it is 100% their responsibility to ensure it is working like it should be. If they want to go and write patches for it or they want to go and cherry pick patches, that's something they should be doing themselves. Now, if instead you're running the latest stable release or a supported older branch, this is a very, very different situation. A good example of that being available is with GTK, where the latest stable release is 4.12.15, but there is also a release of GTK 3 that is still supported, that being 3.24.41. This is something you'll often see with the larger projects, where they actually have resources to have older supported versions, but most applications you see on GitHub, the only supported version is the current release, and any problems with older versions are not the issue of the developer unless they can still be replicated in those newer versions. Unlike the first case where you 100% should only be going to the distro bug tracker and nowhere else, in this case it's not as strict. There's no harm in going to your distro bug tracker because oftentimes the distro can direct you to where you actually should be going and maybe it is a problem with the actual package they have. But as we'll discuss a bit later, you may possibly decide that going to upstream also makes sense, but don't do so just yet. And lastly is the latest git commit. Once again, there is absolutely no harm with going directly to your distro or whatever packaging solution is offering you the latest commit. For example, you might have the latest commit from something like the chaotic AUR. But as with the latest stable release, you may decide that going to upstream also makes more sense. With the latest git commit, 
if you are not getting it from your distro, please don't report it to the distro. Report it to the place you are getting the latest commit from, just to be clear. Okay, so you're theoretically running something that is supported by upstream. You're running the latest stable release, an older supported branch, or the latest git commit. The next question is how have you gotten that onto your system? Are you using a native distro package? Did you download the source directly? Are you using a flat pack, snap, or app image? This is very important because very recently there was the issue with Valve saying, hey, we do not support the Steam snap. It causes additional problems. Please do not report these problems to us. That is not something they support. Even though it is still running the latest version of Steam, it's outside of their purview. Be very mindful of the packages officially supported by the project. I run the OBS Flatpak because this is supported by the OBS team. If you are running something that is not supported, don't just blindly report a bug. Make sure you check the bug is also present in a supported package as well if that is something that is possible to run on your system. That isn't just related to flat packs, snaps, and app images. Make sure that is also the case in your distro package as well. There are cases like the RPM of bottles where it was introducing additional problems that didn't exist in the official flat pack. Now, if it does turn out it's an actual bug in the application, okay, that's something that might be worth reporting. A good example of this is the Arch Linux OBS package. This package has been broken for many years because of Arch team refuses to package it correctly. Things like the WebSocket functionality completely missing because it's not available in the application source bundle they download to actually compile the project. It doesn't have the browser functionality because they don't want to use a specific version of CEF Minimal. These are problems that are not worth reporting to the OBS team because they cannot fix the package on Arch Linux. That is the fault of the Arch Linux maintainers, and those are the people the problem should be reported to. But if it's a problem like when I had Hyperland completely hard locking when I resized a captured window in OBS, that turned out to be an actual problem in Hyperland, and that did get reported upstream to the project. Do you actually know where the problem is coming from? Now, if the answer is no, and you can't go and test the application because maybe there isn't an official package available on your system. You should be reporting it to the distro bug tracker. If you don't know, don't go upstream first. If you happen to know a way you can replicate the bug, generally they're going to be able to help you and direct you in the right location. They might find out, okay, this is a problem with our package, or they might realize, okay, yeah, this actually is upstream, go to upstream and let them know about the problem now. This distinction becomes especially important when you're running a distro that just cannot help itself, but cherry pick additional patches that should not be in that release. Oftentimes when you get an application on your system, that is going to be what upstream is giving them. But sometimes the distro is like, hey, there are these patches over here that haven't been merged yet. What if we just merge them ourselves in our version. If there are patches like that involved, Upstream is going to tell you to go away and run a proper version of the application. Those should always be reported to your distro or whatever packaging solution you've obtained it from. There are various different reasons why these patches are added. Sometimes it's to fix a security problem. Sometimes it's to add additional functionality. Either way, there is a reason why the patch has not been merged Otherwise, it would have been merged already. So it is not the problem of upstream to fix that problem. This is also very true in the case of BSD ports. A lot of the time, additional changes will need to be made to get an application working on the BSD side. Make sure you report that problem against the BSD you're using, not going to upstream unless you know the problem is also present in the Linux upstream version of the application. It can be a lot of work to work out if something is from the upstream package or the downstream package. Generally, if you just don't know, just report it against the downstream distribution. But if all of that is too much thinking and you don't want to deal with it, 
as a general rule, it's a safe assumption if you get a package from your distro to report it against your distro. If you get it from a third-party package repo, report it against the third-party package repo, whether that's Flatpak, Snap, so on and so forth. If you want to do that additional work and check, is this a problem with my application or is it a problem with the application itself and you find out it's a problem with the application, then go to upstream and then it is their problem. But I know that no matter what I say, the problem is not going to be addressed and there are still going to be lots of people reporting problems that have nothing to do with upstream and they're going to say we can't fix it because it's not our problem. But what do you think? Are you a application maintainer? Do you deal with people reporting issues in the complete wrong location? Do you think my guidelines actually make sense? Or do you think that maybe more people should report things directly to upstream? I would love to know. So if you liked the video, go like the video. And if you really liked the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, subscribe, Silly Bear Pay, linked in the description down below. That's going to be it for me. And let me know the problem with the video in my bug tracker.